Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Streets online ordering software or what we like to call SUSE. Now in my many years of working in photographic printing I must say that this software which is made by Rose is probably the most efficient ordering platform that I've come across and I'm sure you'll think so too once you're using it like a pro. Uh, we also have a web-based ordering system if you don't have access to a desktop computer and you can get to that through the order online section of our website on your mobile, tablet, whatever it is that you're using. Okay, so once we have the software open, this is the start screen you'll see. It lists all the different categories of products that we offer and you can click on any one of these to take you to the ordering screen or you can click order prints up here in the top right. Now we're looking at the main ordering interface. Um, and it's really important to make sure that this is maximized uh, just so that you can see everything clearly. So the first thing we're going to do is import our images into the software and we can do that two ways. The first is by opening a file browser window and dragging and dropping our images into the image section here down the bottom. So you just navigate to where your photos are saved on your computer, highlight the ones that you want, drag, drop and let go down here and that brings them all in here. If we want to remove them, you can just press the X here and that will delete all of the images from, from this section. The other way that we can add images is by clicking the add images icon here on the bottom left and that lets you bring in a folder that contains your photos. So you just navigate to the folder that has all the images that you want, click open and that brings all of the images from there into the, into the file section of the software. It's really imperative that none of these file names change or the location of the images change while you're placing the order. Uh, when you complete the order at the end, the software will be looking for these images. So if it can't find the path, it, there'll be an error when it comes to uploading it to us. So make sure that none of that changes. Okay, so now we have our images ready to go. It's time to find the products that we want to order. So I'd like to order this first image here as a 20 by 20 inch metallic print and then order all of the rest of these images as four by six inch luster prints. So first I'll need to find the metallic photo paper tab. Um, and I can do this by scrolling through the list of product categories up the top left here, um, using the black arrows on the right and the left. Uh, you can also hold down the arrow to reveal a list of all the different categories. Now, if you're using a Windows computer, you'll see all of these categories stacked as tabs. So it just it looks a little bit different to what we're seeing here on a Mac. Okay, so metallic photo paper. Now we have that selected. Underneath here, we'll see a list of sizes available for that product. So we just need to go and find the one that we want, which is here. It's already selected, 20 by 20 inch metallic. Once you click on it and it's highlighted, that opens that products template in the center here for ordering. So the next step is to drag the image that I want for this product into the template by clicking on the image, dragging and then dropping. Now if there's a mismatch of the ratio of your image to the ratio of the print size that you're ordering, you'll see any cropping that might happen in this section. So if I were to drag a rectangular image into a square product, and just click and hold, you can see the images ghosted out on the left and the right. That's, that's the section of the image that's going to crop. So what we're seeing here is what, what's going to print. So I'll just put the one I want back in there. You can crop your image on purpose if you want. If you click on the image, this little slider bar will reveal at the bottom and you can move that in and out and use the hand to drag the image around to position it where you want it. But for this particular image, I, I don't want to crop it, so I'm just going to zoom out. On the right hand side, you can see a list of options that we have associated with the particular product that you've got selected. So mounting, image tone, borders, any, anything like that will be listed here. If you wanna change the quantity of the number of prints you're ordering, you can change that down here just by typing in how many you want. Keep that as one. And once we're happy with what we're looking at, you can click add to cart. And you can see that's worked because we have one item in our shopping cart. Okay, so next we'll order the four by six inch luster prints. Again, we'll go to the product tabs at the top left here and find luster photo paper. There we go. And scroll down till we find the size that we're after. So four by six inch luster, and that will show us the template here in the center. 
you can see the options here on the right have changed once I've changed the product. So, all right. So instead of dragging in all of these products at one, um, one at a time, I'm going to bring them all in in one go um, to save a bit of time. If you've got hundreds of photos, it will make your whole world a bit easier. So you can do this by clicking on the first image you want to order while holding down the shift key on your keyboard, then clicking the last image. This highlights all of them and now you can just drag and drop them all into the same template. The software will ask if I'm sure I want all of them as a 4 by 6 with a quantity of 1, so I click yes and all those images will pop into my shopping cart. Now we've got everything we came here to order, we can take a look at our shopping cart and just double check all the items are correct. Seuss will list the file name, the size, price, quantity, which you can change here if need be. Um, if you'd like to remove an item from your cart, you can click the X here. And if you'd like to edit an item in your cart, you can click this little pen tool. It'll also show any options you've selected listed here. On the right hand side of the cart, here is our list of order options. If I was sending this order directly to someone else, I could enter their email address here to have all tracking notifications for shipping sent to them. I can also enter my invoice number for their order here. Uh, if you don't have any of that information, just leave them blank. We also have a notes to lab section here. So if you wanted to put any uh, notes for us to read, you can enter them here. If you've got nothing to write, we love a good joke. So feel free to share. Next one down is color correction. Now, by default, none of the images we print are color corrected or enhanced. Um, the majority of our clients are photographers or artists who handle their own color corrections. But if you would like us to, you can select color correction per image. And when this is selected, our printer will go through each of your images individually and make changes to color and density where needed. If we spot something amazing in the lab and we want to share it to our socials, this section here is you giving us permission to do so. So if you're happy for us to share any images of your work, just enter your Instagram or Facebook name here and then we can do so. We also have a rush order uh, service. So if you need uh, an order completed before the standard turnaround time, you can select that here. Um, you have to co contact the lab before completing this order just to make sure that it's okay and possible for us to do so as it can depend on a number of factors in the lab. So once you get the AOK, -okay, then you can hit yes to the rush order, enter the time and date that we agreed on and continue with the order. All right, that's it. Time to go through the checkout. And to do that, we click checkout down here. This next screen will ask us to fill out our billing details and you should definitely click this little checkbox here to add your email to our mailing list. We don't send a lot of emails but we do send important updates that you might need to be aware of, um, any sales that we have on the rare occasion that we have them and any new product launches. Okay so now that's complete I'll click next. Now we'll be asked about our shipping or collection of the order. If we want the order shipped, we can choose from standard delivery or express delivery. If the order has an item that's over 40 inches long in it, we would have to select the quoted express freight option. And this charges a $30 deposit. Um, and then the lab will contact you with the cost for delivering your order using a courier chosen at our discretion. You can also opt to collect your order from the lab in West End. Uh, we do have on-site parking. And uh, the second option here is for our night box collection. And that's for those who can't make it to us during business hours. So what we do is we'll pop your order in the yellow cupboard next to our lab entry and you'll be sent a code to access it. And that way you can collect any time of day, any day of the week. So we'll select pick up from lab and hit next. Okay, this is the section where if you have a promo code from any sale or any discount that you have from a club that you're a part of, you can enter that here and click OK and that will apply the discount. But we don't have one, so we'll just click Next. Okay, so here you'd normally be prompted to enter your credit card details for payment. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to share my credit card details with you. Um, but make sure that every field is correct and once you hit Next, it will process your card. So it's really important not to go back after that because then you'll have to go through the payment processing again and you don't want to be charged twice for the order. So always hit next. So for now, we'll just click charge to lab account. And then it will ask you to send to us by and you want to select 
send now via the internet, which should be by default. And what that does is that will upload the order to us right now. Um, and you'll see the order uploading in the, in the background. I'll do it. Completing order for transfer. And you can see the upload is being, there's a little progress bar up here. It's really important that you don't shut down the software before that's complete. Otherwise, we'll receive payment, but not a complete order from you. Um, but if that's the case, if it shuts down prematurely, just reopen the software and the order should continue to upload to us. Now you'll know that that order has been successful when you receive two confirmation emails from us. Uh, one of them will be a payment receipt and the other will be an order confirmation. So this shouldn't take too long, only a couple of minutes. If your order has got a lot of photos in it or really large files, it may take a while or if you have slow internet. Um, but yeah, just make sure that that stays open. And that's it. Hopefully this video helps you on your way to your first streets order. Um, and if you run into any problems or have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at the lab on 07 3255 1130 and we'd be happy to help.